Hello. This is a video on the ACET load remover and what it currently can do, I suppose. Uh, it's pretty accurate. There are a few spots that I'll try and show off or just discuss that aren't accurate at the moment, but here's what it can do. So, uh, to showcase, I have two timers here. Uh, the red timer is in-game time and the purple timer is uh, real time. So if I start it now, so you'll see they'll run in conjunction. Uh, they'll be like a frame or two apart. And just to show, when I pause, the red timer stops. So that's how you know that it's going to be <laughs> in game time. So first thing I'll do is land here and show off in a cutscene. The red timer stops. When I let it play out, there we go. So the red timer keeps going. Uh, it stops on quick select pause as well. So as you can see here, whenever I bring up my quick select pause, uh, it will not count the in-game time. This is accurate to ace it in-game time. Uh, when I bring up the map, uh, this works in both uh, inside planets and on moons. It will pause the in-game time like that. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else I can really showcase here, actually. Uh, well... I'll just, just describe it. Uh, when you collect things in this game, such as Zoni and Constructo mods and Gold Bolts, the in-game timer still keeps going, and that functionality is preserved in this timer here. So I'll leave the planet. As you can see, time is still running. Uh, similar functionality here uh, when you're in a ship. So timer paused. When I bring up the galactic map, it is also paused. Bring up the pause menu. Again, still paused. Uh, when you enter these cutscenes, uh, well, sorry, missions like the Smuggler, so you'll see here, this technically counts as a cutscene, so it's paused, and it will continue to do this as long as you're in menus like this. So you can see here, uh, this this is the same functionality as regular in-game time. It pauses when you still have selections to do on the menus here, and we will leave like that. It continues going like that. And I'll go to a vendor and demonstrate that it pauses on vendor entry. Like this. So here I will open this. And I will buy Mr. Zircon just to demonstrate. So you can see it doesn't claim these cutscenes. But as soon as I leave, works again. Same in the armor menu. I can't buy any armor right now. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the timer continues to run uh, while you're putting on the armor. Although you skip these cutscenes usually. So I'm talking to the Volad here. And again, similar thing as with the Smuggler. So I'll leave like that. And we will go to a planet. So the single limitation that I know of so far. Uh, well that, that's sort of been demonstrated. Uh, there is about a 3 second discrepancy. Uh, between entering a planet and the in-game timer um, pausing correctly. So, when I press triangle here, you'll see a black screen happen. Uh, it should pause now, or now thereabouts, um, but it waits a while. That is not intended functionality, and so the timer will be about three seconds off. Uh, if I were to compare this... Uh, compare that timer to a true in-game time uh, but as something that will probably be fixed and as you could as you could probably see here I'll, I'll demonstrate again um, so the timer pauses there because that's a cutscene this does count towards in-game time though so that ship flying away cutscene does but as soon as you enter this uh, pre-rendered sort of section where it goes into the ship console that doesn't count and of course load screens do not count towards in-game time Uh, the other things I can't show off, I can't show off pre-rendered cutscenes, um, but they, again, they pause. And I think that's all the functionality uh, that I can think of. And again, if you save load, um, it will pause. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's all. So yeah, other than that single, uh, single problem I've identified going into planets, 
uh, the in-game timer is pretty much accurate to true in-game time. 